Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And welcome to another video from me, Amamance. And today, we're gonna to do something in 1.13. Well, anyway, this is the 1.13 pre-release. It's not actually 1.13, which is gonna be coming out probably in just a few days, I reckon. And this is really something to introduce you to the concept that is the conduit. We're gonna talk about conduits, how to make them, what they do, that kind of thing. It's very exciting. This is the beacon of fish. This is the beacon of those that like to swim. This is a fishy beacon. It's the kind of thing that is gonna give you power over the water. It will let you breathe underwater. Well, actually what it will do, it will stop the bubbles from going when you're underwater. It will let you see underwater and it will let you mine much better underwater. And the bigger you make it, and the more complex you make it, and there are three stages of it, the greater the circle of influence, which is amazing. It can be as much as 94 blocks from the conduit in a big ball that you can get the effect, which is absolutely amazing. It's the conduit effect. And I recommend you try and get it in your life, but it is not easy. No, no, no. You have got to find some things before you can make it. You need to have plenty of prismarine blocks. Yes, prismarine blocks. So you've got to go and bash a few guardians if you want those, haven't you? And you've got to get some Nautilus shells. You've got to go fishing if you want Nautilus shells. I don't think you can get them any other way. Maybe in the comments below. Can you get Nautilus shells any other way than fishing? I'm not entirely sure. They might be in chests maybe, but they're a rare fishing item. So you need a fish farm, I would imagine, to be able to do that. And you also need something called the heart of the sea. Now there is a rumor that dolphins can take you to hidden chests that will take you to the heart of the sea. It is like a ball, looks a little bit like an enderpearl, but far more blue. And they are hidden in chests in Minecraft in very rare places, treasure chests specifically. In one of the places, can you see, there is a half a sunken ship. I don't know where the other half's gone. Maybe got eaten by a large shark. But there is a sunken ship behind me, and I'm gonna go and look to see whether or not there is a heart of the sea inside that sunken ship. So let's get myself moving here. I need to change my view, there we go. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna go into the sunken ship now. Not always, but sometimes, you can't always get into these sunken ships very, very easily because they're kind of blocked off with all sorts of blocks and you have to dig your way in. This one has got a rather conveniently placed door. Isn't that useful? And we have a chest here. Now, they are very rare, these hearts of the sea. You're gonna to have to open like, goodness only knows how many chests to get a heart of the sea. Oh, goodness me. Look at that, right in the middle of the chest. We've got a heart of the sea along with a load of carrots. Isn't that a coincidence that we just happen to be by the right sunken ship? Very, very useful. Yes, indeed it is. But we've now got a heart of the sea, which is excellent. Now what we need to do is we need to craft ourselves a conduit. And we do that in a crafting table. You get your heart of the sea in the middle. You get eight nautilus shells all the way around like that. And that makes a conduit. And we now have that conduit. Now this conduit is a very, very clever thing. Let's get rid of that, I don't need that anymore. It's a very, very clever thing because it's basically a beacon. It's absolutely awesome. And you use it under the water. I'm not gonna use it under the water. What is that? Oh, it's a load of fish. I thought that was some kind of weird looking monster that was like all creepy and crawly, but it's actually a load of fish. Hilarious. Right, so I'm gonna build this just here. We need to be, it doesn't have to be completely submerged, but it does have to be in the water. Now for whatever reason, I am struggling to get a night vision potion working. So I'm gonna come over here like this, and I'm gonna build my heart of the sea on here. Let's just get this out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna plant my conduit on it like that. Now it does nothing, look, there's absolutely nothing going on with that conduit. And what we need to do is it needs to be surrounded by water and then surrounded by glass. So it needs to have like a three by three area around it. So if you can imagine, it's got that bit there, that bit there, that bit there. And then around this side, it's also got that bit there, that bit there, that bit there. We can get rid of that now that bit there and that bit there. So I know I'm doing it in glass, but I'm trying to illustrate to you. You don't need that one. That there, all of this needs to be water. So we're gonna replace these with uh, source water blocks in a minute. So that is basically the area that has to be water. So we're gonna build a, basically a cage that goes around that shape there, like that. 
There you go. So that's one. Then this cage is going to get rid of that, that, and that. This cage is coming along there, 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 there. Now, you might be thinking, Avo, I know how to make a conduit, and you're basically using the wrong blocks. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to get a shape so as you can see what is going on. I'm just going to make it daytime. Time set so as I can see a little bit better. Um, I'm just going to come along here. I'm going to get rid of that, that, and that. There, 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 and there. Get rid of that in there, that in there, that in there, and that in there. Get rid of that and get rid of that. So can you see we've got this three by three all the way around the conduit. And we do need to make sure we've got water source blocks. So I'm just going to wipe a load of water source blocks. I'm sure they are, but it doesn't hurt just to make sure because this puppy will not work if they are not water source blocks. So now what we're going to do is we're going to finish off making this cube. And it's actually these blocks that are going to remain as glass in there, coming up, there, 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 and there, 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 and there. So we've got this glass structure, let's get like that. It doesn't have to be glass, by the way, this, I'm just using glass because I want to show you what happens inside the box. Um, you can actually leave it open if you wanted to, but I quite like the idea of encasing it personally. So come in this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay, so we've got one completed box. And what we need to do is replace some of this with prismarine. It can be any of the prismarine blocks. I just happen to have picked this one up. And we're going to build, basically, a ring around like this. Like that, coming down, all the way around. Like this, and come around there, 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 and there. So that is our first ring. And can you see, up in my corner here, I've all of a sudden got this effect. And that effect is the conduit effect. And you'll notice, it's not very good, but I can see just a little bit better under the water. If I go into survival, hang on, let me just... I'm going, to come I'm going to stand up and stand on here. Right, so if I put myself into survival mode, so here we go. So where are we? We are going to go game mode. Can you hear that noise as well? Weird. Really weird noise. Um, survival. Have a man. Right, I hope there's nothing around me that's about to kill me. But if I come under here and go under the water... My bubbles, my bubbles there, don't go down. Not at all. Which is quite cool. And you can see, look, can you see that you've got some particle effects going on in that conduit inside? It's opened up, and we've got a bit like the enchantment table particle effects going into it. This is stage one. We've only got one ring around it. There are three stages. So if I go down, if I just keep going down, and eventually, I don't know how far it is, but eventually when I get away from it, I lose that effect. Where does the effect go? So it's quite a long distance. I've still got that effect. Look, I'm quite a long distance away. And this is only the first stage, which is quite cool. Oh, I'm just swimming through a load of fish. So we're a long way away. And I've still got the effect. I've still got the effect. Can you see how far you can go? It's absolutely cool, isn't it? Look at that. That's brilliant. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get ourselves... Stage two, like I've lost the effect there now because I went out of range. It obviously, it, it holds. That's about the distance. It holds the effect for a little wee while. And there we go. We can see underneath the water really quite nicely as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. I'm going to come around and just put a prismarine block there so I can get on top of this. I'm going to put myself back into creative mode. You'll notice this. It, I don't like that change, people. I don't like it. I prefer you being able to do like one, two or three. Now I've lost my prismarine block, for goodness sake. Right, so let's come back here. Prismarine block, there we go, two. Right, so now we're going to put level two on it. And we're going to put that there, that there, that there and that there, that there, that there. Coming up and around, one, two, there. Get rid of the prismarine block that I thought I'd lost, but I hadn't actually. And we are basically making this now stronger 
we can go further before we lose our effects. Let's just get those out of the way because they're in my way. Down, down, and down. So that constitutes level two. And the effect basically takes you out much further. So if I come out this way, much further away, away, it goes, and then I come back. Oh, it didn't come back. There we go. I can still hear it. I can still hear it. So let's make it level three. There we go. The effects there. There you go. And then finally, one, two. That sound is really spooky. So this is really good for people that like to live underwater because mining underwater is an awful lot easier when you've got this fella rolling. So now we've got level three. I'm just gonna come up and stand on this block. I'm gonna go back into survival again. Game mode, survival, other mans. And, no I'm not, hang on. Game mode, creative, oh, creative other mans. Takes way too long. I'm gonna get myself a tool, an iron pickaxe and an iron shovel. And then I'm going to go back into game mode, survival, Abermans, and I'm going to come down with my spade in my hand. I don't like that noise, it's really spooky. And we're going to sink down, down, down to the bottom. And normally, when you're underwater, mining is not a lot of fun. But you watch this, people. Look, if I get my shovel, it's just normal. It's like I'm normally mining. It's not like I'm underwater at all. I can mine out dead easy. And if we're some rock, I'm just going to mine down. Let's get ourselves some rock. I'm also being very aware that because we've got drowned now, and drowned are not the friendliest of critters. Right, so there, we've got stone. And this is underwater mining. Quite effective, I would say. So let's come up here. I don't want any drowned to come and eat my face. The last thing is I want on my first episode playing in 113 is that a drowned comes and eats my face. That would be bad. So let's get myself back up here and get myself into uh, creative mode. There we go. So I'm now in creative mode. What was that? All oh, right, of course, things float now in the water as well. Forgot to mention that. If you didn't already know, things float on the water. So there you go. That is a conduit. You can build it as deep in the water as you want. You don't have to build it in the water at all. And what's interesting is if I do weather rain, set the weather to rain, the conduit effect comes back. That's really interesting. So if it's raining, the conduit effect comes back. I find that absolutely brilliant. So there you have just a little bit of a taste of the conduit in 113 in the update aquatic it's a really useful tool i think we're going to be able to do all sorts of underground builds far far more easily with these conduits and i reckon you should get using them once you've got loads of prismarine and obviously found the necessarily nautilus shells and also got yourself a heart of the sea so it's not like it's dead easy but once you've got them definitely use them this effect is brilliant if you have enjoyed this video please do make sure you let me know by slapping that like button it'd be great to know that you enjoyed it and i'll keep doing these little snapshot vids and also if you're not done already, please do hit the subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.